welcome to another video in dentist hub so today's topic is going to be the paget's disease of bone this is an important question asked in oral pathology so mark it important the paget's disease of bone is also called as the osteitis deformans it is a chronic progressive disease of osteoclast and is characterized by abnormal and excessive degeneration of bones the etiological factors include genetic and endocrine abnormalities, inflammatory reaction to bone, or autoimmune disorders. It is usually seen in middle-aged individuals and there is equal sex predilection. It commonly involves pelvis, femur, and spine. It is usually asymptomatic, but as the disease progresses, there is bone pain, skull enlargement, and frontal bossing, Skin over the bone feels warm due to excessive blood supply and there is softened bone at the base of skull called platybasia. The oral manifestations include widening of alveolar ridge, flattening of palate, migration of teeth and mouth remains open as the disease progresses exposing teeth. Lips appear small as they fail to cover enlarged mouth. Coming to the radiographic features, Paget's disease occurs in three phases, the osteoclastic phase, the mixed phase and the osteoblastic phase. Early lesions are seen due to bone resorption in osteoclastic phase. There are destructive areas seen in single and multiple radiolucencies. The isolated lesion in skull when large is sometimes referred to as osteoporosis circumscripta. In the mixed phase, there is resorption and bone formation occurring simultaneously. Patchy mixed radiolucencies are seen. Osteoblastic phase is the phase of bone formation. Radiographic picture shows patchy radio opacities, giving it a cotton wool appearance. Other features include bone enlargement, cortical thickening, loss of lamina dura, and hypercementosis of teeth. In the histological slide, during the osteoclastic phase, there is extensive resorption of bone, increased number of osteoclasts and multinucleated joint cells are seen. During the mixed phase, small irregular fragments of newly formed woven bone are seen with jigsaw puzzle or mosaic pattern. Repeated bone resorption results in hematoxophilic bone resorption lines during the mixed phase. Bone islands are compact, marrow space filled with increased vascular fibrous tissue of osteoblastic phase. The laboratory findings include increased bone-specific serum alkaline phosphatase, increased urinary hydroxyproline due to osteoclastic activity and bone resorption. There is no specific treatment for Paget's disease. Aspirin and acetaminophen are given to relieve bone pain. Calcitonin and bisphosphonates inhibit osteoclastic activity. The complications include stress fractures, secondary sarcomas and fractures of femur. Let us see what we have learned so far. So the Paget's disease usually occurs in middle-aged individuals. Signs and symptoms include bone pain, deafness if the skull is affected and the vestibular cochlear nerve is compressed. It is a chronic progressive disease. Investigations show increased levels of alkaline phosphatase and urine often contains collagen due to high bone resorption. X-ray shows bone deformities. Treatment includes bisphosphonates like pomegranate and analgesics. That's about the Paget's disease. Hope you found it informative. Like, share and subscribe to the Dentist Hub for more updates.